In the networking industry, a lot of people are saying that serverless is the next wave of cloud computing. You may be wondering, where are all the servers going? We'll explain. Serverless computing doesn't mean the servers are going away. Instead, it's the use of dedicated servers for specific applications, functions, and storage that goes away. The new model has those resources being used only when a specific function or event occurs. This is especially relevant for Internet of Things applications. In many cases, the app doesn't do anything until an event is triggered. For example, a home security camera application doesn't do anything unless motion is detected. At this point, the camera records the footage, sends it to a cloud service, and triggers an alert to the homeowner's smartphone. For the maker of the home security app, it doesn't make sense to have a dedicated storage server and network server sitting idle while it waits for something to happen. It's too expensive. Instead, the app will use a serverless computing service, which grabs infrastructure resources when the event occurs. This gives developers the freedom to build an app without needing to worry about the infrastructure, like how many servers to use, storage requirements, and where the servers are located. The app can choose from a library of functions offered through several serverless computing platforms. Amazon's AWS Lambda and Microsoft's Azure Functions are the best known examples. Serverless computing also ties into microservices. While microservices are used to break an application into tiny modules, serverless computing does the same thing but with functions on the infrastructure layer. The end result is a much more cost-efficient way to develop apps, especially for event-driven devices such as Internet of Things sensors. <laughs>